And a heartbreaking loss rocking Hollywood tonight. Stephen Twitch Boss, the famed dancer, DJ, and television personality, has died at the age of 40. The tributes are pouring in with fans and celebrities devastated by the sudden loss of the entertainer and family man who was an inspiration to so many. From So You Think You Can Dance and the Ellen DeGeneres Show to TikTok in the big screen, Boss grooved his way to fame and into the hearts of millions across the country. We have live team co coverage. Pedro Rivera is standing by live with reaction. But we begin with Mary Beth McDade with the very latest on the star's death. Mary Beth. It really is just so sad. Boss reportedly called an Encino hotel on Monday morning to make sure a room was available. He used his own name to check in and didn't show any signs of distress. The next day, he was dead. His wife released a statement saying how he lit up every room that he walked into. He was a beloved DJ, dancer, social media sensation, and father of three. 40-year-old Stephen Twitch Boss apparently checked himself into an Encino hotel room just a half a mile from his home on Monday morning and never came out. The coroner has confirmed that Boss, the longtime beloved dancer on The Ellen Show, committed suicide by shooting himself. A maid reportedly found him in a pool of blood Tuesday morning while doing a welfare check when he missed checkout time. His wife, Allison, had filed a police report Tuesday morning after Boss had left their house on Monday without his car and didn't come back. Boss and his wife, a fellow dancer, just celebrated their ninth wedding anniversary last weekend and posted this heartfelt video dancing in front of their Christmas tree to mark the occasion. The couple met on the show, so you think you can dance. Boss was a fan favorite. Among his fans, Ellen DeGeneres. The TV host invited him to dance on her show. I would like to introduce you today to our guest DJ. It's my favorite dancer, Twitch, everybody. In 2014, Boss became the show's dancing DJ and eventually executive producer until the show ended last May. You gave me a place where I could just be myself, you know what I mean? Um, I came here to dance one time to do a dance cross for you, you know what I mean? Um, and now I've gained family. Boss appeared in films like Step Up and Magic Mike, and he and his wife also hosted Disney's Fairy Tale Weddings. The two appeared on the KHLA Morning Show in 2018, complimenting each other on their dancing skills. He is definitely the better dancer. I've learned everything I know from this guy right here, for sure. Really? Yes. No. She's being incredibly modest. She is incredible. She's been my favorite even before we were together. There's literally not a style that she can't do. Yeah, oh, we dance course. all the Absolutely. time together. Yeah. Yes, it, and when we're cooking dinner, we usually are listening to Frank Sinatra, we're slow dancing. Yeah. Just last month, Boss told Jennifer Hudson the couple was talking about having a fourth child. I love the little babies, I, lo I love them, and um, to be quite, yeah, it's, it's a constant conversation. His wife released a statement saying in part, it is with the heaviest of hearts that I have to share my husband Stephen has left us. He was the backbone of our family, the best husband and father, and an inspiration to his fans. I am certain there won't be a day that goes by that we won't honor his memory. She went on to say, Stephen, we love you, we miss you, and I will always save the last dance for you. And we do want to make sure that people are aware that if you or a loved one is having a mental health crisis, you can call 988, the Suicide Lifeline, for help. Michael, I'll send it back over to you. Mary Beth, thank you for.